Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Welcome. Hey, good to see you, everybody. How are you? No, well, miss. Okay. It's Friday, right? And the body knows. <laughs> okay. One more minute and I'm going to check the attendance. Did you work on the platform? Uh, yes, I did. Uh, yes? I did it, yes, uh, uh, in my case, I did it yesterday. Excellent. Yep, thank you. Okay. Hey, I'm going to start checking the attendance. Remember to say present. Okay. <clears throat> Wait. Jennifer Paola. No. Jocelyn Natalia. I'm here, teacher. Excellent. Jose Francisco. No yet. Juana Candelaria. Good evening, I'm here. Hello. Karen Xiomara. Karina Yasmin. Present teacher. Excellent. Carla Melissa. I'm here. Excellent. Catherine Stephanie. Present. Okay. Leslie Natalia, um, Leslie Natalie. No here. Lisbeth Martinez. Lucia Elena. Present teacher. Excellent. Luz Virginia. No. Margarita Abigail. Present. Excellent. Maria de los Angeles. Present teacher. Great. Martin Ernesto. No yet. Y Miley Yamilet. No. Melissa Guadalupe. Michelle Beatriz. Present teacher. 
Okay. Present. Okay. Raúl José. Present. Raúl José. Present. Okay, Miley. Yes, I didn't hear you. And let me check for Raúl. Where are you, Raúl? Ah, yeah. A lo lejos le escuché. Roberto Carlos. Present teacher. Excellent. Roberto Eduardo. Uh, present teacher. Great. Rodi Dalila. Rodi. Sandra Maritza. You are here, teacher. Okay. Selma Yamilet. Present. Great. Stephanie Abigail. I'm here. Great. Victoria Ingrid. Present. Great. Muy bien. For today, we're going to start the uh, a new lesson, okay? Which is, we had a great time. That's the topic. We are going to talk about simple past. Uh, and I also did a research about the difference between good and well. Okay, the question that uh, you made yesterday. Así que, according to my research, I found that, Alice Virginia, maybe you enter late. Okay, ahorita. Ahorita le pongo en attendance. Okay. Muy bien. So we have good and well, okay, good is an adjective. So for that reason, we are going to use good in sentences uh, that when we describe a noun. O sea que cuando estemos hablando o querramos saber eh, más información acerca de un noun, un noun could be an object, a person, a place, um, un, uh, cual, cualquier objeto, right? Okay, entonces vamos a utilizar good. Entonces aquí tenemos one example. Okay, this is a good lasagna. Okay, por eso eh, estaba la pregunta. How good uh, is uh, your your sister, for example. Okay, estamos hablando de una persona. Or how good um, uh, is the food in that restaurant? Okay, we're talking about objects, things. But when we use well, okay, well is an adverb. So in that case, eh, it's going to modify verbs. Entonces, en este caso lo vamos a utilizar cuando hablemos de actions or activities. And for example, did you do well in your exams? Okay, porque estamos hablando de que lo realizó, algo que realizó, an action. So if you are talking about an activity or an action is something that implies 
that you that you are doing something que you are going to use well, okay? O si quiere saber acerca de cómo alguien está haciendo cierta acción, que you are going to ask how well, okay? How well? How well do you play? How, how well do you cook? Okay, for actions. And good for nouns. I don't know, it is more clear. Yes. For the ones that asked about this yesterday. Roberto is more clear now. Uh, yeah, yeah, I got it now. Okay. Así que remember good to adjectives, o sea, noun. Yeah. And well okay. is like an adverb to actions. Yes, Lucia. Yeah. Can you say me other examples for good? For good, um, how good was your day? No, I mean, ah, yes, because we are going to talk about the, the day. Okay. Or how good, um, estamos hablando de sports, right? How good is, uh, Real Madrid, for example. How good is Real Madrid in the league? I don't know. In what juega, but. Y estamos hablando de un equipo, a team. Okay, entonces sería nouns. Entonces, nombres. Estamos hablando de objetos, de lugares. Eh, personas, eh, equipos, que okay. eh, puede ser en singular o en plural, right? Y teníamos de ejemplo, los ejemplos que teníamos acá. Uh, How good are you at sports? Entonces, está hablando de usted. O sea, está hablando de una persona. How good are you at sports? Um, pero, por ejemplo, si voy a ser como más específica acerca de la acción, how well do you play soccer? Okay, ya no estoy hablando en sí de la persona, sino de su acción de cómo juega. Entonces, ahí voy a utilizar well. ¿Qué es, Lucía? Ok. Muy bien. And, ok, ahora sí, we can move to today's topic. Ok, here we have some activities activities that you can do in your free time. Okay, for example, read, watch TV, spend time with family, okay, fish, uh, go, do gardening, play sports, go to the movies, and spend time with friends. Okay, what other activities um, do you do in your free time? What else? Can you do in your free time? Play the piano. Play the piano, okay. In my free time, play a sport in go gardening. Go gardening, okay, and play a sport. Yes, Victoria? Read the books. Which one? Could you repeat, please? Read the books. Okay, read a book. Yes. What else? What other activities? Different for for those. I listening to music. 
listening to music, okay, yes. What else? What about play video games? Or, uh, I don't know, watch YouTube videos. Watch Netflix. Yes. Okay, Jocelyn. Okay, what else? Go for a walk, for example, or go to the gym. Yes, Candelaria? Um, I don't know if I say if I say good, but uh, spend time on phone. Okay, on phone. spend time. Uh -huh. on like like Facebook, Instagram, in social media. Spend time in social in social media. Okay. Yes. Correct. Okay, now we have the conversation. We are going to listen to the conversation and then we are going to practice. Okay. Yeah. Hi to all, welcome to section seven. We had a great time. In this session, participants will last weekend. In the past, I really need you to concentrate as we'll begin to study simple past. As you listen to the conversation, write down all the verbs in the past you can identify. Did you do anything special? So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No. I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today? I forgot all about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. Okay. Got Can all you... about that. Don't... Can you tell me which verbs in past did you identify? Went. When did have did started forgot 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 has which one have. Have. What is it? Last weekend. Last weekend, teacher. Sang. Last weekend, it's a time period. ¿Se recuerdan que lo vimos ayer? It's a, it's oh, a okay. time period. Oh, like it's a have. Okay. Sang. Yes. Sang or sing. What is it? En la tercera línea. Sang. Ah, sang, yes. Oops. We did it. Okay, did. Didn't. 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 This one. Okay, what else? Only that? Okay, so we we can find two types of past verbs. Okay, we have the regular ones and we have the irregular verbs. Okay, which of them are irregular? Went, went, sang, had, sang, did, sang, did, but, had, 
Had. Forgot. Forgot. Forgot, yes. Okay, yes, correct. So the irregular verbs are the ones that you write different. Okay, you write it different. Uh, not only adding ed, que sería el caso para los regular. In the case of, of the regular verbs, you only have to add ed to transform into the past form. Okay, let's check some examples. Okay, Melissa. Muy bien, let's. Okay, let's, let's make a list. Okay, let us start with some regular verbs. Okay, tell me uh, what, re or, or write, mejor type it, type it. I think it's better. Type two regular verbs that you know in past, in past tense. Okay, type on the chat, please, the regular verbs that you, two regular verbs. Go, it's irregular. Okay, wanted, yes. But in past, write, write them in past. Okay. Say it's irregular. Missed, worked, okay, studied, okay, loved. Dance. Okay. What else? Played. Had its irregular. Okay. Liked. Watch. Accepted. Okay. Worked. Okay. Okay. Great. Now type two smile. Okay. Now write two irregular verbs. Now what a okay irregular growth. Okay. In past, in past. Say, yes, did, broke, boat, drunk, okay. Okay, didn't, drove, forgot, ate, found, made. Okay, excellent, great. Have, so, yes. Okay, excellent. Met, yes. Okay, great. Moving bien, now, drunk and sad, yes. Now, we are going to uh, only remember uh, some rules to add the ed into our regular verbs. Okay, for example, if the verb 
Okay. If the verb and uh, how we are going to add the ed, okay? If the verb ends in y, okay, what happened with the y? We dropped it. Uh huh. Wait. We put off or we we, we drop change yes correct we change the y for an i and then we add ed right what happened if uh the word the verb ends in e We add D. We add only the D. Okay, we have we have not to double the E. Okay, only add the D. And what happened if the verb it has only one syllable, one syllable and only one vowel? Okay, if it has only one syllable in one vowel, we have to double the, the last vowel. consonant, the last consonant, okay? And then we add the ed, okay? That's in, on the case if we have a, a short verb. And also, we have some exceptions to the rule. Okay, hay algunos verbos que más que todo con e, en este caso, cuando terminan en Y, se quedan en Y, okay? No se cambian por la I, okay? But those are like the general rules to add the ED. And we can we can, or, or I can send you a list, okay, with the verbs. In the case of the irregular verbs, you have to memorize. You have to memorize how to write them because there is no a rule that you can use. So you have to memorize how to write them. Can you? Do you have questions about the how to add the ed to the regular verbs? No? No. No. Okay. So let's continue. Okay. Here we have simple past in how to form a question in simple past. Mm -hmm. Muy bien. Eh, lo, le, digamos que en general nuestro nuestras oraciones en pasado que okay, van a ir obviamente solamente vamos a cambiar el verbo que okay? the, ver, the, the verb will be in, in, in past but in the case of the of questions okay, vamos a utilizar the auxiliary did Okay, vamos a utilizar the auxiliary did. 
Y cuando utilizamos el auxiliary did, it, it is not necessary to change the verb, the main verb, sino que lo dejamos en su forma base, on the base form. Entonces, if I use the auxiliary did, como en este caso did ya está en pasado, porque si se recuerda, el auxiliar en presente sería do, ¿ok? In, in simple present. En este caso, como ya lo tenemos en pasado, ya no es necesario modificar el verbo principal y por eso nos queda en su forma base. Did you work on Saturday? Did you go anywhere last weekend? Okay. And for answers, okay, we have if 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 we want to say a short answer, yes, I did. No, I didn't. Okay, and then we can add an explanation. Okay, yes, I did. I worked all day. Y en este caso, para nuestra respuesta, si sí, vamos a utilizar el verbo en past. Siempre el verbo principal que se utilizó para la pregunta, pero en este caso lo vamos a utilizar to the answer. ¿Ok? And in negative, no, I didn't. I didn't work at all. ¿Ok? Or, did you go anywhere eh, last weekend? Yes, I did. I went to the movies. Or, no, I didn't. I didn't go anywhere. Y luego tenemos the double H questions, okay, like, what did Rick do on Saturday? Okay, igualmente, aunque no iniciamos con el auxiliary, siempre lo vamos a utilizar. Vamos a iniciar con nuestra double H word. Okay, that could be what, where, who, okay, who did this? Or, uh, where did you go last night? Okay, entonces puede ser cualquiera de las double H, de las double H words. Eh, who, where, what, why, how, okay, how long, how much. How much did you pay for your iPhone? How much did you pay for your computer? Okay. Entonces, como siempre utilizamos el auxiliary, okay, iniciamos con nuestro double H word. What? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Iniciamos con la double H word. That's it. No yes. Sí. And the verb. Then it's the verb in the base form. And then the complement. Mm -hmm. W word. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And here we have some examples of regular and irregular verbs. Okay, we have work. Y aquí está lo que les decía de how to add the suffix ed. Work, mm -hmm. work. It. Invite. If si terminan en e, we only add d. Study. We drop the word. And we change it Started. to i. And then we add ed. Okay, stop. In this case, stop is only one syllable and it only has one vowel. So we have to double the last consonant. Okay, so las reglas in general, the rules that we use to add the suffix ed. Mm -hmm. And then we have some irregular verbs here. Okay, do, forget, have, go, sings, 
pen. Okay, questions about this? No question. No questions. Okay, so let's do the exercise. Mm -hmm. Then we have this. This is the grammar, like acabamos de ver. Okay. Then we have the knowledge check. Yes, era con el que tenía un problema. No right. So this is different. Okay. Yes. Teacher. Um, En, la, en el ejercicio anterior, el 11.1, este, yo me lo salté sin querer y cuando quise regresar me decía que la página se había caído. Y aunque salga y, y vuelva a entrar, no le... Sí, no estoy intentando abrir la página y no me abrió, ya no me abrió la página. Este es el solo ejercicio que le quedé debiendo, el último antes de hacer el del examen de la salud. Oh, okay. Ah, yes. Okay. Okay. Muy bien. So, complete questions and answer must be in simple past. Okay, number one, Selma. Hola, teacher. Number one. Ah, okay. Uh, sería, did you stay home on Saturday. Did you stay at home on Saturday? Okay, yes. This one, right? Or this one? One, two, or three? Letter three. Okay, thank you. Okay. okay. Candelaria number two. Uh, letter A, uh, option A. Okay, read the complete uh, sentence, please. No, I didn't. I, I didn't call my friend. We drove to a cafe for lunch. Okay. Thank you. Number three, Liz, uh, Lisbeth. Lisbeth, number Raúl, number three. Sería literal, tres. How, how did you spend your last birth, birthday? Okay, how did you spend okay, your last birthday? Yes. Number four, Victoria. Oh. I had a party um, everyone enjoyed it, but the neighbors didn't uh, like the noise, the noise. The noise, the okay, noise. number one or two? Number two. Excellent. Okay, number five, Miley. Number two, what did you do last night? Again? What did you do last night? Are you sure? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Solamente vamos a usar el auxiliary in past y el verbo seguiría igual. 
Okay, uh, entonces es, what did you do last night? Yes, correct. Yes, Lisbeth, you were. Lisbeth? Yes, I have, I have a problem. Okay. okay. Number six. Does love have? I go go to the new gym. Girlfriend, love it. Es literal que decir. Sí. Sería la número tres. This one. Went and loved. Went and loved. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, yes, correct. Number seven. Margarita. Did you do anything special over the weekend? Okay, excellent. Mm -hmm. Number eight, Sandra. Sandra, number eight. Casi no se le escucha, se oye bien a lo lejos. Ah. ah. Yes, I did. I went shopping. Unfortunately, I spent all my money. Yes. Okay. Yes, correct. Thank you. Number nine, Roberto Carlos. Please, one second. And number um, and number one and uh, number and number two. Okay, read the sentence, please. And number two, uh, did you sing at the party? Did you sing at the party? Yes, number two, right? Yes, mm -hmm. correct. Number ten, Luz Virginia. Number one. No, I Number ten. I no, I. Number one, two, or three, or A, B, C. What? A. Okay. Yes. Correct. Excellent. Muy bien. After that, questions, complaints, doubts. Okay, then we have a listening exercise. Did you have trouble with this one? Then we have another conversation. How was your vacation? And then we have the pass of B. 
Okay, we can work on that. Okay, let me check it here. And this is the, how was your vacation? Okay, this is the second conversation and here it is. Muy bien, teníamos, entonces acabamos de ver el pasado con verbos diferentes al verbo to be. Que igual tenemos, uh, o los verbos los podemos clasificar en action verbs or, yes, active, active or action verbs y en stated verbs. Entonces, tenemos verbos de estado y tenemos verbos de acción, right? Unos nos, nos expresan cómo está algo o alguien y los otros nos dicen qué es lo que esa persona o ese objeto o está haciendo, ¿ok? En este caso, the verb to be, ¿qué, qué tipo de, en, en qué categoría entraría? De las dos que les acabo de mencionar. En las dos. Are you sure? Ok. Yes. Muy bien. Que okay. the verb to be, correct, it's according uh, or in Spanish, ser or estar, right? Be in a place or uh, be in some way. So, uh, tenemos el pasado de is para singular, para singular nouns, sería cuál? A ver, o oh, déjenme por acá. Más. Ok, en presente tenemos is and are, son nuestros verb to be. Yes, sabemos que is lo vamos a utilizar para third person singular, que sería he, she, and it. it. Are lo vamos a utilizar para plurals. Ok, uh, they, they. We, we, you, you, second, second person singular and plural. Which one? It, it, no, it entraría en is. It is. El am de I. Ah, excellent, yes. I am first person singular. Okay, I. Muy bien, entonces esto si los pasamos a past. ¿Cuál sería the past of its? Was. 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 And for R, where, 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 and for I, was, was, was. right. Okay. Entonces, was lo vamos a utilizar con he, she, and it. Where lo vamos a utilizar they, we, you, uh, and also was we are going to use it with I. I was there. 
I was there when it happens. Okay, or I was scared when it happens. Y como lo decían sus compañeras, se puede utilizar o el verb to be cumple esas dos funciones. Entonces, for example, here we have, were you in Hawaii? Okay, second person singular, right? Yes, I was. Was the weather okay? Okay, no, it wasn't. Entonces tenemos también forma positiva y forma negativa. ¿Qué forma negativa de was? Wasn't. Wasn't. Wasn't or? Was not. Was not. Was not. Okay, was not in the contraction form. Wasn't. Okay, then we have were not or weren't. Weren't, correct. Okay, and in this, in, this is the same. Okay, entonces tenemos forma positive and negative form. Luego, were you and your cousin on vacation? Que okay, en este caso está hablando de estar en algún lugar. Okay, were you and your cousin on vacation? Yes, we were. Were your parents there? No, they weren't. Y tenemos ahí the contractions for the negative forms. Also, okay, we can use the verb to be with double H words. For example, how long were you away? How was your vacation? Okay, okay, how long were you away? I was away for a week. Okay, how was your vacation? It was excellent or it was great, it was boring. Muy bien, entonces esas serían la, um, the, how to make questions using a pass of B. Empezamos con el verbo to be en pasado, luego seguimos con el subject, el sujeto de la oración, and then uh, en los, en, en este caso, como el verbo, obviamente el verbo to be is our main verb, ya no necesitamos agregar otro, otro verbo, right? Esa es, esa es la diferencia del verbo to be, que por sí, o sea, por sí mismo es ya el, el verbo principal de la oración. Entonces aquí no vamos a hablar acerca de acciones, ¿okay? sino que es, vamos a hablar acerca de estados, por así, por así decirlo. ¿okay? How was it? ¿okay? Um, where was your mom last week? Okay, it's clear. Questions? Yes. yes. Yes, clear or yes, questions? Yes, clear. Okay. Muy bien, ese sería entonces el verb to be in past. And I think we don't have time. 
This is another exercise. Complete the following conversations. Remember to use the past of B. Okay, vamos a ver con quién nos quedamos. Okay, Dalila, number one. Vamos a utilizar el verb to be in past. Karina, number one. Sería. How long are you parents in Europe? Are es en presente, pero vamos a utilizar past. ¿Cuál sería el pasado de are? Was. Aquí sale. Pasado de are. Ah, uh, where. Where. Ok. Ok. How long were your parents in Europe? Ok, Michelle, oh, number two. They were there for two weeks. Okay, they were there for two weeks, yes. Uh, number three, Jocelyn. Jocelyn. Hi, teacher. Number three. Number three is where? Okay, yes. Were they in London the whole time? Melissa, number four. Melissa Guadalupe. Maria de Los Angeles, number four. No, they weren't. They also went to Paris. Okay, no, they weren't. Okay, o podría ser, no, they were not. Okay, cualquiera de las dos formas. Number five, Catherine. Were you in Los Angeles last weekend? Okay, were you correct? Number six. Uh, Karen. Karen, number six. Teacher, yo no, no veo muy bien, veo en el bus. Ah, okay. Carla, number six. No, I wasn't. I was in San Francisco. I wasn't. Number seven, Martin. How was it? How was it? Correct. Number eight, Stephanie. Dalila, number eight. Uh, where it's where great wood is quite foggy. It was it was great, but it was foggy. Okay. Aquí nos da una pista también, si en la segunda oración está usando was, o en la primera igual tengo que mantenerlo. No, Bernay, Roberto. Well. 
That's me, uh, Roberto, yes, Roberto Eduardo. Eduardo. Yes. Okay, uh, number nine, right? Mm -hmm. I think is where you always last week. Okay, where you away last week. And Roberto Carlos, number 10. Yes, I was in Istanbul. Yes. Okay. So that's it. Con eso casi cubrimos ya lo de la section one and two. Solamente, oh, well. Okay. Let me check again the attendance and then we go. Jennifer, Jose Francisco, Karen, History teacher. Leslie, Lisbeth, I'm here, Martin, here. Ay, Martín, lo van a regañar otra vez. Change your name. Use your full name. Rodi, Dalila. Present. Okay, and that's it. Leslie, Natalie is not here. Leslie. Nope. Okay, so that's all for today. Have a nice weekend. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Uh, teacher, I have a question for you. Yes, tell me, Robert. Yes. Es este, bueno, ahora tenemos casi todo lo que es la, 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 en la, en la plataforma de aprendizaje. ¿Es necesario dejarlo todo ya terminado para este día o va a haber espacio para mañana o qué sé yo? Me comentaba Flor que tienen hasta el domingo para trabajar porque ella va a tomar uh -huh. nota el lunes temprano en la mañana. Así que tienen hasta el domingo a medianoche para avanzar. Ok. Ajá. Yo creo que lo, 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 lo pueden hacer. Si vieron los ejercicios, los hicimos rapidito. Y la mayoría ya lo hicimos yeah. okay. aquí en clase. Así que okay, pueden trabajar you. un poquito hoy, otro poquito mañana, en Sunday, also. A good weekend for yeah. you. Okay. Okay, thank you. With thank you. you. See you on Monday. Bye bye. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye. Hola, el 2.13. Creo que esa no fue la que revisamos ayer, la de 2.13. Déjeme ver. Teacher, no me mencionó o pasó lista de último. No me escuché mi nombre. Eh, quiero ver. ¿Quién? Jocelyn. Jocelyn. Let me check. Miss, yo igual. Miley, no escuché mi nombre al final. Jocelyn. Ah, uh, sí, la tengo. Y solo, sí, Leslie. No está. Sí, las demás sí. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Teacher, ¿me puede agregar al grupo de WhatsApp? <laughs> okay, regáleme su número para, para enviarlo. Or type it. Es, escríbamelo en privado. Aquí al chat de Zoom. Ok, 
Okay, 12.13 listening exercise. Este. La última. Did she enjoy it? Me escucho. Bueno, pero ¿cuál es la respuesta? ¿Sí o no? Hola, ¿quién preguntaba de esta? ¿Did she enjoy it? Entonces sería yes. She did. Así lo puso. Pues sí, me lo tomo con, no se la agarra. Ok. Melissa. ¿Qué le voy a reportar? I'm going to check it. Ok. Yo lo reporto entonces, Melissa. Ok, Martín, I'm going to pass your number to Floor para agregarlo al grupo. Ok. Ok, good night. Have a nice weekend. Gracias. Ok, bye bye.